All right, good afternoon, everybody. Let's see what happens today. Not too sure. So I think um, I wanted to straighten up a few of these letters yesterday, but <laughs> I instantly made my white paint grey. I'm mixing a bit of a bit of black in un unintentionally. So let's try again. So the world's come. The world's come to an end today. I'm. I, <laughs> I need some more paper plates. I normally put a clean one in if I'm going to use white to keep the integrity. Oh, where are they? Keep the integrity of the the white. But <clears throat> I haven't really got to put the high. Going to put the actual highlight highlights in yet. So there we go. So the paper plate with a bit of water just keeps everything. The credits a bit. Bit damp, they last a little bit longer, so I'm still in this trying to straighten up a few of these letters. Um, so looking at this, this G looks like it's riding up a little bit. I want to straighten that out. These not too bad. The O looks like it's tilted down somehow. The other D's all right, the G's twisted, and the E's all right, so. Um, I'm going to move this across a little bit. There we go. How's that? So, start with. Oh, should put some glasses on. Might be able to see it tied a little bit better. But hey, look at that. Right, so, then. So, this G. Come on, huh? Wants to come down a little bit more, I think. So I can always adjust the. Is that slightly better? I think no. Better than it was. Now, not start. I'll do that. Right, so that be better slightly. And then just this oh, this could be slightly thicker and down a little bit just to. Waning outside today, so I can't exactly do a lot else. I'll tell you what, it would be a good idea if I had my reference picture up on the screen to look at as well. Oh, not going that way. Let's turn you around a little bit. Don't get paint on my lens. Bad. That'd be a bad thing to happen. So what happened yesterday? I got me got my toothbrush out. <laughs> got some black paint. <laughs> Obliterated this. See the black black marks up here, just to give it a bit of texture. They look a bit fierce at the moment, but I can uh, just soften those up a little bit. Like sort of effect. I like the little tiny specks, but the big big splotches are a bit naff. But there we go. It's not too bad. Right. So where's my um? Still need to make my reference picture to load up. Unless it's behind this screen. Is it behind? No, it's gone. Disappeared. Oh, it's loading up now. So then, what can I see while that's loading up? That's better, that's better, that's marginally better. I just gotta wait for the reference picture to load up now. 
I had some dirty water yesterday. I painted over some of the, the whiter areas of the chrome. This the minute when I put the highlights on, I actually do want like the whitest of the white paint, but that's not going to show up again unless it's something slightly not white. Your eyes, your eyes are amazing when they work properly. You, they can see, you know, a thousand shades of white. So even if you think something's white, it can always be whiter. <laughs> right, let's get a look at my reference picture. So my reference picture is getting to be. You can see that or not? So there's my reference picture loaded up. You can see the metal work is a lot darker. So I've lightened it up because that looked a bit. I don't know. Let me come down here. It's my interpretation of it. It's, not, it's my version of this. Right. So now I can see on my reference there's some real good highlights on this not putting in. So one be right on there. Right on the um what do you call it? I'm on the corner of this D. Um, this is quite cheap acrylics now, but I think I've probably got a, um, more expensive tube somewhere. But um, hopefully the quality of the quality of the white might be a little bit better. that bit there it's quite nice when the paintings at this stage because all of the hard bits don't really end up working out where everything goes now it's just like a nice fine tuning of the bits you just want to emphasize right, so on the this part of the D there's a nice highlight there in the back of this bit of I might have to go over some of this again but slowly building up the In white against white, but it's just these little bits of detail work. It's gonna what? It's gonna, it's gonna what? It's gonna can't concentrate and talk at the same time. It's weird. Um, these bits of detail, or even lift the. Painting that to the next level, hopefully. So I'm just going to work my way along these letters now, just picking out different bits, just putting touches in. So here, I actually see something here. So I've gone over with this like blue wash, just faintly. So now I'm going to put the white, the highlights on. I'm going to actually stand out against something. So I've just got a few little tiny little pieces there, and then right, what happens here? What can I see that's obvious? So. Like a all over the place, really. I pick up, make a start. So let's say there's one. one there. So I'm zooming in a little bit. Uh, 
There we go. Let's see, how, let's see what I should do in there. This bit here. Now, it goes all the tops of these highlights go in a rough line across parallel to the curve, slightly up maybe, but they just come down in a sweep, a sweep, a sweeping, a sweeping arc. I didn't have the blue wash behind, you didn't really see this too much, but I see some pink which actually do leave the white. Looks lumpy on the um, on the painting. Just because they want to put the maximum amount of impact on. Day Sesame Street was brought to you by the letter O, <laughs> like so. Yeah. There we come. So when you zoom out. It's not a lot. I see you see the little highlights we've done here and then on here and to wiggle work our way across so on the bridge of the D like a star over the edge and it's there is a straight line all the way through it but it's like wavy Yeah. And up in here, so now it's just a little fleck of there we go. Don't want to miss it around here, so the bottom edge of this for the metal work there is a It's not a lot, but your eye, your brain's going to sort of, is your eye sees it or your brain doesn't, I don't know, but then, something along those lines. Right, so, let's, let's go back to the top of this, oh, there's a right. White cream, I'm just gonna put that. Couple of little flecks up here amongst all this. Put them against the black, they just show up a little bit more. Yeah, 
like a lot. Right, so then, what going on now? Document is E. Almost all right. What have we got? Broken line there. Here we go, bit like that, bit like that. Watch your paint dry. Stuck a little bit. The more paint it becomes complete, the easier it is to see the bits aren't correct. So they stand out against the stand out against the rest. Bits of detail coming in now that we lift the painting up. Right, so it's on the got going on here. Jeez, it's a real confusing mishmash of everything, I really. think. So can I see what can I paint? Really confusing here. See this? Sometimes you can see a bit of logic to what you're painting, but 
Okay, gee, this is a proper random, random mess of shapes. It's also yeah, an island there, but I don't know. I don't want to make it too uniform. Sometimes it's just best to let your brush just jump around a little bit. It's, it's going to get too contrived else. Even if the marks I'm making are not 100% correct, I'm looking at my reference picture. And the type of mark I'm making is, is going to be sort of correct, so even if it's not brilliant, it's going to be close. Can I see on right this top of this D is a bit more work. So just add a bit more to that one. Right, so then in here it's like a shape like that up in the middle here one on the top of this that's a new turn that's not maybe white doesn't make it quite so thick as that. Let's let some of the blue come through. Push it across a bit, straighten you up. Oh, it's falling over. Bad, I don't think. Might look back at this. There's a lot more. Mine going. Oh, what I've done there? It's thick.
là. Right on the top of this D here, the light blue line runs. I've actually got some a thinner brush than this, but might be able to just it's quite a large painting, so I might be get away with this. I can just see on the top of this green a bit broken. Like a line. something over here and I've got distracted right so let's highlight here break down into the later that's nice I like that very soft and new <laughs> something that comes out right and the midpoint of this O is like a See, so this bit I've painted up here. I keep going forever, really. <laughs> oh, I'm just stop. Oh, I've got this. Watered down, that's why lightened blue. I can see up 
in this area here. Just a little bit out of interest. Right, I'm going to do it for a little bit. See you on the next one. Bye.